Yud is Yud Yud is Shaboy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be going over every one of the new Maestro cards added to NBA 2K24 my team today as well as going over and talking about the triple threat online reward Allen Houston and just anybody else obviously I'm going to focus mostly on the pink diamonds because again all of the 100 overall in Galaxy Opus are hidden behind gambling and that's just again something that I, I just personally don't like and, and so for me like I've got 1.8 million MT on my main account but I don't care I'm not spending it on packs we're gonna look first up at Bryant Reeves 79 3 ball 84 speed 82 with lateral quickness Hall of Fame anchor box up he's brick wall immovable enforcer good finishing can knock down some shots 79 3 ball Vooch base on normal timing basic cleaner Big country in my team actually is solid and I, I it's crazy for me to say this because going into this video I wasn't really prepared to hype up Bryant Reeves, but the cards actually good seven feet tall can play the four or five Obviously defensively is is really solid. Is he you know the best center power forward in the game? No, but when you're looking at like budget cards, I think he's one of your better budget bigs in the entire game Okay, maybe I'm sitting here gassing Bryant Reeves, but I think the card is that good in my team. 39 base badges. I talk, I'm talking about him being a budget big. At the end of the day, he's 115,000 MT. You know what I'm saying? Is he worth that? No, obviously not worth that amount of MT. But let's say you open up one of those packs. Let's say a deluxe pack. I think you can grind for a free deluxe pack in the agendas and you pull Bryant Reeves he is a card that can play if you are just starting the squad Vooch up next 93 3 ball 80 speed decent enough defensively you know when I look at his defense is he perfect no but he can get basically every badge in the game does come a Hall of Fame brick wall immovable enforcer as well as post lockdown do I wish he had off anchor absolutely like that's again something I'm not gonna sit here and just act like doesn't matter it does I wish he had it but overall I mean the card shooting wise is fantastic comes with Hall of Fame range Fuge base, which is solid enough. This card's solid. Again, is he going to be the best big in the game? No, but is he a serviceable enough big that, like on my No Money Spent Squad series, he would play? Absolutely. There's no, you know, if and or but about it. No denying that Vooch can play at a pretty decent level. Cliff Hagen up next, small forward shooting guard, basic dribble style, Kevin Knox base on normal. He is your worst pink diamond you can get. And I, I don't know how else uh, I can phrase it with Cliff Hagen. Like, when I'm looking at, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the worst pink diamonds, he is by far it. Only 6'4", six, 6'5", six, wingspan. His release is actually not bad. But he's got basic dribble style and he's 6'4". What is he really? Uh, what is he really doing for us on the court? Nothing, and that's the big thing for me. Is now everybody might be, oh, but he's got Hall of Fame challenge, Hall of Fame clips, Hall of Fame glove. I mean, none of that really matters when you are a six-four shooting guard. Said it before, and I'll say it again. Height runs my team. Sure, Cliff Hag Hagen's movement would be way better, but he's got basic dribble style. There's nothing to like about Cliff Hagen. He is an absolute garbage man in my team. Ricky Rubio up next, 6'2", six, 6'7", six, wingspan. Release-wise, Ricky Rubio base on normal timing. LeBron James dribble style, normal leaner. Another card that's just not very good. And, and I'm not trying to hate on Ricky Rubio at all because defensively, he has some things going for him. He does, absolutely. But he can hardly dunk. He's only 6'2". Shooting the ball is not going to be that great. This card stinks too. Throw him right in there with Cliff Hagen is one of the worst cards that we got today. And it's crazy how bad some of these pink diamonds are. I mean, this card is absolutely horrible in my team is Ricky Rubio, a card that I do not recommend you guys pick it up. And that's not me just sitting here and hating on Ricky Rubio because I'm a Timberwolves fan. I like him, but not in 2K. Chauncey Billups up next. Chauncey Billups base is not good. Pro dribble style, normal leader. Another card that absolutely stinks. Stat-wise, badge-wise, Chauncey's actually decent. Like, I can't hate on the card when you look at his stats, look at his badges, even his player model. I mean, he's 6'3 with, the, or six three with the, you know wide player, but I can't hate on that. But again, pro dribble style, not a great release, not a great leaner. It just comes down to you can't hype a card up like Chauncey Billups. And, and it's sad for me to say that, but that's just the pure honest truth. Like, these pink diamonds so far today are absolutely horrible then we get into tubby walker 91 three ball 89 speed 88 lateral quickness i mean what i noticed with tubby walker is his defense just looks very mid very mediocre and i'm not trying to hate on tubby walker but that's just what i'm seeing badge wise basically perfect release obviously i think it's gonna be okay i don't want to sit here and gas it because again it's only on normal timing but I don't think it's that bad. Basic dribble style, normal leaner though. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit here and hype up Tubby Walker. Badge-wise, he is fantastic. Can't sit there and deny that. But 
movement wise obviously not great uh player model wise not great and my big thing here is defensive stats are just not great for tubby walker so honestly guys i'm gonna say it like this these peak diamonds stink they absolutely stink. I mean, Vooch is probably, Vooch and Bryant Reeves are probably my two favorite pink diamonds. Are they worth the MT they're going for though? No. And that's ultimately, again, what it comes down to. Because again, I, unless you gamble for them or unless you get like the free pack and pull them, that's the only way to, to really get Opals and above. So, I mean, again, pink diamonds, cheapest one, basically, there's some for 80,000, but those ones stink. Cheapest decent one, I mean, you're looking at Vooch and Bryant Reeves and even them, I don't know about Allen Houston up next, 97 three ball, 90 driving deck, 92 two ball, 92 bono, 94 speed, 94 lateral quickness. This is a car that I, I can get behind a little bit in, in, in this Allen Houston. Now, how do you get Allen Houston? You got to win 50 triple threat online games. But I mean, stat badge wise, really good. Corey Kispert based on very quick pro two leaner, Kobe dribble style. Allen Houston is absolutely fantastic. He is. I mean, if you do not like Allen Houston, it, I think it's a you issue because this card is so, so good. Now, with that being said, uh, you know, is he going to be the best shooting guard in the game? I don't think so, but I think he's close, honestly. And I think, you know, for what we wanted out of a card, it's tough to, you know, hate on what Allen Houston provides. Because when I'm looking at it, I mean, I think this is just me talking. He's going to be one of the top shooting guards in the game. And do I think he's going to be the best? No, but I think he's going to be up there. I think he's going to be close. Defensively fantastic offensively i mean just elite Corey kispert based on very quick i mean come on man doesn't get much better than this card is going to give us on the court so yes am i high on Corey kispert yes i mean but again you have to be good to get the card and that's something needs to be known triple threat online 50 wins not that long of a grind i actually think the card is really good galaxy of Kyrie irving only way to get him is by gambling 98 three ball 98 speed 96 lateral quickness Another card that is like stat wise, it's tough to get much better. He even is dunking. Kind of surprises me that it's at an 80 just because it's Kyrie Irving. I know you guys might be like, Ty, it's not that high, but still kind of surprising. Thing I like about Kyrie is his movement. Absolutely. Kyrie, I'm very quick, gonna be smooth. Kyrie leaner, uh, it's fine. Especially, I think, what, going left. Um, it, it, Kyrie's gonna be Kyrie. Gonna be a small guard, offensively, gonna be nearly un unguardable. But like, is he. Is he worth that much? Is he a top five point guard in the game? No. And so that's what I always go back to is like Kyrie Irving's not worth opening packs for. Absolutely not. This, and that's the only way to get him. This card is not great. Let's say you lock in all the pink diamonds, which I would never, never, never recommend. Kyrie Irving is absolutely not worth, uh, you know, getting in that. He's just not. Because, I mean, even a guy, let's say like Pink Diamond, Devin Booker, I would take every day over Kyrie Irving. And if that's the case, there's literally no point of opening packs for Kyrie at the end of the day. He do Turkaloo up next. Let's start with the release. Dylan Windler base. I think they gave him a new release. I don't know what this Dylan Windler base is like. So I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. But gave Hedo a new release. Pro 2 leaner. MJ Dribble style. He's 6'10". The problem with Hedo lies with his defense. His defense just does not look great. And, and I mean, again, he's 6'10", so it's not going to be that horrible. No immovable enforcer, it's the card. But offensively, he was going to be fantastic. Just wish his defensive stats were a little bit better. Because even if you compare those defensive stats to a guy like Michael Beasley, which, again, I think Hedo's offense blows him away, Michael Beasley's defense, probably better than Hedo's. Again, I'm not hating on Hedo, because I think his release could be good, but not really worth that much. I'm sorry, Hedo, you're 6'10", and you're not great defensively. Not worth opening packs and gambling for Cade cutting him up next six seven with Cade you kind of know what you're gonna get you do okay he's gonna have a release that's probably gonna be the best release we have maybe in the entire game pro leaner not great Steph Jerobo style 97 three ball 95 driving 95 speed 94 lateral quickness I'm gonna say it like this with Cade I'd be surprised if he's not the best point guard in the game. Now, is he worth opening packs for anything like that? No, he's not. Because even a guy like James Harden, even a guy like Austin Reeves, if you have him, even a guy, let's say, like Devin Booker, can go out there and compete with Cade Cunningham. But I'd be uh, wrong of, it'd be wrong of me to say he's not the best point guard in the game. Again, this I won't include him in tier list, anything like that. But if you get Cade, obviously very elite. Ron Artest, not going to spend a ton of time uh, talking about him. Markel Fultz base? Wait, what? Why did they change his base? I don't like that. I, I, that's just me personally. There's no need to change his release. The Rudy base would on very quick would have been fine. Him folds on very quick. I mean, okay, I guess. We'll have to see what that's like. Pro 2 leaner, MJ dribble style. All of those things are fine. I just don't get the change of release. There's literally no need for that. Perfect defensively is Ron Artest. Probably going to be your single best defensive card in the entire game. I mean, again, I might be sitting here gassing him, but I mean, that's where I'm at. Don't know if I like the change release, but he's going to be solid. Hakeem. With the game, I'm going to say it like this. Pro 2 leaner. 
he might be the best big in the entire game. Like, I, 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 I again, if you want to gamble on packs, you get Hakeem, you're getting a really solid big, probably the best big we do have in my team right now. MJ Dribble Style can handle the ball, seven feet tall, release on very quick, gonna be smooth. So, so, so good. J.R. Smith up next. J.R. Smith based on very quick, D-Book Dribble Style, Pro 3 Leaner. I don't love J.R. Smith. So, like, if you get J.R. Smith, Kyrie Irving, those are the cards I really don't love. Uh, J.R. can still play. Just don't know if I'm gonna love that release uh, on very quick. Dirk, last and not, certainly not least, obviously 100 overall. Kyrie Dribble Style, Dirk base on very quick. The Dirk base is going to be bad. Everything else obviously dirt can do at the very highest level yeah not worth your time not worth opening packs so again another day sad pink diamonds and below really stink Allen houston is good but that's about all we've got to talk about today another day gamble to win it's really what it is save your mt right now i've got 1.8 million mt and it's only gonna stack up from there that's gonna wrap it up for my video guys do not buy vc do not open packs drop a like on the video subscribe if you're doing it as always man i love you guys have a blessed day